How is it going everybody? My name is Jared from Debaru.com and today we're going to be talking about some free strategies that we can use to start doing affiliate marketing. So the goal here is to make some affiliate sales using ClickBank as our network and we're going to be promoting these ClickBank offers for free on Pinterest. So Pinterest is a great place. It's a very visual platform with a lot of great visual content, a lot of good images. And they're even starting to implement some videos now as well. So we can go in there, start creating boards um, in a specific niche. Then we'll go and pick products in that niche on ClickBank. And then every once in a while, we can throw in a post that promotes that affiliate product. And if anybody clicks on it, goes to our link, goes to the offer page and buys it, then we will get a nice commission. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into it real quick, I just want to let you know that this video is made possible by the AFK Forum. Alrighty, so I am on Pinterest.com. And as you can see, I just kind of set up a new account here that has pictures in a variety of niches. And when you first make your Pinterest account, if you don't have one already, they'll ask you, you know, to say some of the things that you're interested in. So I think some of the things that I said were men's fashion, uh, technology, the NBA, woodworking, and I think do-it-yourself kind of projects. When we do this, you don't have to you know pick the niche that you're going to be promoting your ClickBank product in you know right away, but you want to start thinking what audience do I actually want to be targeting, and what kind of products do I eventually want to sell. So I can just off the top think that. ClickBank has a lot of products in the do-it-yourself kind of niche. Um, there's also a ton of weight loss products, you know, keto kind of products. So I might go towards that route because we want to think about who's on Pinterest on a daily basis. Sure, men are joining at a higher rate than ever, but predominantly it's going to be women and even more so older women. So there's going to be a huge audience for, you know, potentially weight loss products, um, do-it-yourself types products. And so we'll go over to ClickBank in a little bit and start looking at those products. Honestly, if I just start typing in something like keto, you know, we're gonna get tons and tons and tons of awesome graphics um, about keto. We can start taking some of this content and making boards. So that's really uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to essentially make a board in a specific niche and when, and we're gonna just be posting to that all the time do this for maybe a month, two months, because that's the thing with free traffic is you have to be consistent with it and you have to do it for a pretty long time. This is opposed to you know paid traffic where you can have results within the day and you can get data really quickly, but with free traffic, you know it's gonna take a lot longer, which is okay because you're not spending anything. So if you're not spending anything, then you gotta put in the time and you gotta put in the work. Anyways, when, pe <clears throat> Anyways, when we post this content, uh, we want, to get people engaged with it. Um, and the, really the way to do this is just by posting as much content as possible. Eventually we'll start getting some followers to our board. And then once we get you know a good amount of followers, we can start creating content that has our affiliate links in it. Affiliate marketing on Pinterest can be super passive because essentially when you post something, then anybody else can come to that post and they can pin it on their board um, they can pin it to their pro profile and then you know a whole new slew of people uh, can see your content and engage with it. So people are going to interact with your content, they're going to share it, and you're going to get a lot of views and a lot of traffic over to your affiliate links. One of the things you do want to keep in mind though is you have to remember to mention on, on the posts that have affiliate links on it, just mention that you know you will get a commission if the purchase anything through that link. It can be something as simple as just using like a hashtag affiliate at the end of any description that you make and that will probably be enough but you do want to add some kind of a disclosure. Another thing even if you have a ton of time to be posting pins 24 7 don't go overboard with it you know you don't want to you know flood people with a hundred pins every single day. We'll try to do you know 10 to 20 a day and if you can do something in that range then that'll be a lot more manageable for everybody to consume and it'll also be more manageable for you. All right, so with that being said, I think we'll go over to ClickBank right now 
and see if we can find some products that would be good to promote. And I think keto is a great place to go. Uh, there's a huge audience and a huge a female audience that is just dying for this kind of content. And let's just type in keto and see what we get. Alrighty, so this one is the most popular one right here. It's Keto Camp. So all that looks fine, and we're going to use this Keto Camp product. So we'll promote, generate, copy, get rid of that. And so now let's go into what, how you would actually set up your boards so that you can get the most out of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just come over to your profile over here and then go to boards. And as you can see, I don't have any boards yet. And I would also think about creating a profile picture that has something to do with my niche as well. So we want to just create a board right now and this board is going to be all about keto. So we'll probably call this something like keto tips. Now that we have our board ready, we can start searching for keto and looking for content that we want to add to our board. So some of these look really good. Um, I like you know, keto mozzarella sticks or something like that. And as you can see, this post right here has 13,000 pins. So, you know, 13,000 people have pinned this to different places. Um, and so this has probably been seen by, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. It's got comments on it, and it also has a link that we can go to. So let's see what's over here. And this is just the recipe uh, for, this is just the recipe for these keto mozzarella sticks. But on this website, you know, there's probably some affiliate links somewhere or they have their own products so in some way they are going to be able to monetize off of this so when we make our pins not all of our pins are going to have a link like this because we don't want to spam and we don't want to go overboard with anything but the ones that we want to promote our affiliate product are going to have our link right down here like this so we can just save this right here and we'll save it into our keto tips board so now when we go back over to our board you can see that keto mozzarella cheese sticks have been saved here. Now let's go back over to that post. And as you can see, this person saved it to this board right here, which is another keto board. And she has almost 2,400 pins to this board, and they all have something to do with keto. As you can see, this has 157 followers, so whenever she pins something on here, you know, her followers are going to see what she pinned. So most of our content is going to be, you know, like delicious keto food and recipes and things like that. But every once in a while, we can have a picture just like this, a little testimonial a little, um, a, or a story saying, talking about how someone lost a lot of weight with keto. And as you can see, this isn't even, you know, that great of a picture, but it's inspirational because this person, you know, lost 50 pounds, actually probably more than 50 pounds. And they are linking over to this website right here. And this is the ultimate keto diet, beginner's guide, and grocery list. And without and within this article, they have different links that we can go to. So let's look at the 28-day keto slim down. And get your copy here. This is probably a paid product, most likely. There, there you go, $30. Goal here is just to provide a lot of nice content up front and then ask for a sale once they have consumed that content so that's really the strategy here is you know look at these boards if you want inspiration if you need a place if you want to create some of your own pictures then you can go to over to a website like canva.com that's canva.com and if you just type in pinterest then you'll be able to create a pinterest graphic just like this um, it'll be the correct dimensions and everything so yeah that's the strategy Go out, pin as many things as you can onto your board, try and get some followers over to your board, and then every once in a while, <clears throat> include a testimonial or a nice graphic for the product that you want to promote. And like I said, this is gonna take a little bit of time to get started, but you know, once it gets rolling, it can definitely be a passive and hands-off business model, and eventually those sales will start rolling in. Alrighty, that's all I got for you today. I hope you learned something and I hope you see the potential and how powerful Pinterest can actually be. There's tons of people on Pinterest every single day. So go out there, start creating nice content and getting people to engage with that content. 
once you start building up an audience, then you can really start raking in some sales. So thank you a ton for watching. I just want to let you know that this video was made possible by the AFK Forum. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.